It is time for October Horror Movie Reviews. I'm not even gonna look at the trailer. Just picked one randomly. It is called Of Unknown Origin and is from 1983. I am, uh, let's say, not a big fan of rats. And this rat's about um, that big. And they've been showing pictures of like people with bites on their faces and like rats eating each other alive and all sorts of disturbing stuff. And if it wasn't for you people, I would have stopped watching this and moved to a different movie. So I blame both of the people watching this video. It's your fault. The rat's been mostly unseen and he's trying a couple good things to get rid of it, but it's not working. See that? Super rat did that. Oh, you gonna nail him with that sack? Who gave you this, your grandma? These are antiquated traps, man. You gotta get yourself some proper traps. Watch and weep, you furry fucker. Oh, 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 jeez! This is the part of the review where I decide to be nice and let you know that a large portion of the upcoming part is going to be a large rat attacking people. If you do not want to see this, there's a timestamp right there to skip that part. I'll give you time. He enters battle several times with the rat. And it doesn't exactly work out well for him. Never fear though, Peter Weller is getting in great shape and he's gonna kick that rat's butt. Welcome back to the people who didn't want nightmares and smartly skipped the last couple minutes. At this point in the movie, he goes just a tad insane and starts driving nails and parts from rat traps into a bat in order to make a weapon for one last epic battle. You're going to have to watch the movie to find out who won. <gasps> Overall, um, I guess the acting's okay in this one. Peter Will is pretty good. He goes pretty crazy. And, uh, like, him being more and more desperate versus the rat thing works. Uh, but I, I kind of looked away from the screen on this one a lot. I didn't like the rat too much. He's a little creepy.
and disturbing. I don't really like rats. Uh, there's a weird subplot where he says job part of the movie that ends up going nowhere. I'll spoil that subplot for you. The meeting never happens. He prepares through the movie for this me big meeting in two weeks and then the people can't show up so it just gets delayed. Yeah, waste of time. Uh, God, what did we learn? Always watch the trailer or read the description first. This movie gets 30 Robocops because that's how many times I'm going to have to watch the movie before I stop imagining giant rats every time I see Peter Weller. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment suggesting a movie that hopefully doesn't have anything to do with killer rats and I will watch it. And as always, I shall try to do better next time. Let's end with something nice about rats, please. Bing.